Welcome to another episode of Cat Talking Show here in Cat Looking Barbershop. My name is Danny with Peter, and we got a special guest here today on the episode, Michael Bruno. Hands of applause, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you, thank you. Uh, talk about yourself. I worked in uh, my, for my father, pizzeria, restaurant, my whole life, uh, since I was 12 years old. And then uh, he retired, so I was like, all right, Dad, he sold his business. I said, I'm going to move to Florida. So I moved down here. It took me two years to find a location. Everywhere I was looking, I was getting outbidded. And uh, the rent was really high, too. A lot of places were like 14000 10000 a month. I said, this is crazy. I called my dad back home. I said, Dad, the, the rent's outrageous down here. He goes, well, what's, what's it like? I'm like, 10000 8000 He goes, what are you, crazy? He goes, you're going to be paying a landlord. You're not going to be taking anything home. So finally, I found this spot over here. It was decent. I mean, it's still kind of high, but it's still it's decent. And uh, then it took 11 months to build it out because the permits took six months, you know, and then the rest is uh, it's magic right now. It's Maybe, history. Yeah. So we're doing good. Making it been open for four months and we're doing good and making a name for ourselves it's nice yeah it's pretty cool yeah it's really good the food is really good yeah that's why i make the highly highly recommend the pizza i tried uh different pizzas like domino's pizza had uh, some other places and uh even my favorite one in miami there's a cuban pizza they made miami i every time i go i always go there and i like the pizza ever since i tried your pizza that one is like eh, like questionable you know right. it's like uh, yeah you know. yeah so our pizza is more like new york brooklyn style so my family comes from brooklyn well originally from italy then brooklyn and they they uh you know they worked there their whole lives and then they all scattered in new jersey but they all opened up all my uncles on my dad's side and my mom's side they all opened up restaurants pizzerias so it's in my blood you know that's what we do it runs in your blood yeah how old are you when when pizza you know when you decided you want to do you uh, know, cooking in the in the kitchen. I, I want to say like 14, 15, I started stretching the dough, learning from uh, the pizza man there, my father. And then um, then I worked my way into the kitchen. I was learning uh, how to cook dinners. And uh, we had a chef there. And I would ask him every night, oh, make me this, make me this. He goes, I'm not going to make it for you because I'm going to teach you how to make it. Oh, nice. And so he that's taught me. Learned. And then my father started teaching me and that's how i picked it up and then one day that chef that was there for 15 years he left so my dad was like all right you're cooking now and then i picked up all the the cooking and the dishes and i, I so i learned everything pizza dishes and i loved it you know because we're good at it our, our, our recipes everything's real authentic you know it's not mediocre like a lot of a lot of italian places you go to nowadays not even italian owned you know True. so See you know, everything's the real deal yeah. and then people taste the food and they're like wow so whenever people they enjoy it you know that's that's that makes me happy so and what's the favorite dish that you like to prepare or do you me like to so make? my favorite dish to make and to eat is uh seafood pescatori so it's got shrimp uh, scallops mussels clams and calamari and it's delicious and it's do you good. have it available on bruno's i do I do. It's on the menu. Check it out. Oh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. try that one. Yeah, it's good. It it, it, it looks good. It, I mean, it sounds that tasty. Sounds oh, and it's big, too. When it comes out, it's a big plate. So make sure I'm you're hungry. Try. That's nice. Yeah, like yeah. What, what Danny was saying about the pizza, like, I try every pizza, like, but the only problem with me with pizza, eventually when I eat it too much, I get tired. Like, but with your pizza, I haven't get tired. I've been eating for, like, weeks now, for yeah. months, and still... Still tastes good. It's good, yeah. So <clears throat> the dough we make it every day, the sauce we make it every day, the cheese we cut the cheese ourselves. A lot of places down here they buy it already packaged and cut, mm. but um, you know when you cut it yourself, there's a nice thickness to it, so it makes the pie more milkier. It gives it a nice, you know, nice look and a, and a better flavor. Also, the sauce we make the sauce every day. So a lot of places what they do is they make the pizza sauce for the whole week. It sits in a big bucket in the walk-in box in the refrigerator. But tomatoes, when tomatoes sit, they get sour. So by making it daily, it's fresh. The taste fresh. is always fresh. Yeah. Wow, so you know, nice. gotta stay fresh. That's why I come over here and get a get a haircut too. Yeah. <laughs> these guys, he guys make come. sure yes. I look fresh. Yeah. You know. So. Hey, you gotta do fresh, <laughs> being fresh. Exactly. Exactly. Gotta stay fresh. So. Gotta stay fresh. Yeah. Even the first time you guys brought us. Uh, uh, Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah. yeah. The cheesesteaks. Oh, it was man. damn delicious. That was awesome. It was yeah. delicious. I was like, man, this is good. This yeah. is going to be good. So the cheesesteak meat we use is ribeye. So it's a good steak. We really chop it steak. up. We season it right. And then the, the, the sub rolls that I get are from Philadelphia. It's called Amoroso. And they're great. You know, a lot of places down here, the bread. The bread's horrible in Florida. So, 
you know, I get it shipped every every couple of days. I get the ship, uh, the bread shipped from Philadelphia. Yeah, cheesesteak, uh, the ribeye is really good for that. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Good, good stuff. That good quality. Yeah, good, good quality. quality exactly. That's all I want to. That's I want the best. You know, I want to give out the best. So I want people to, you know, it's all about quality. Plus, it's my name I'm representing, so I got to make sure everything's on point. Top of the line. Yeah. That's so good. you won't get a you won't get a bad meal from me, you know, unless you're from. Uh, I think people from uh, like Wisconsin or I don't know Milwaukee or whatever they they eat different kind of pizza and they might not like my style. My style is more like New Jersey, New York, Brooklyn, so, right? Brooklyn. Brooklyn yeah, Why is the difference between Brooklyn pizza and that place, Milwaukee and Chicago pizza? Why so I think Chicago's thicker. So it's kind of like uh, like to me, it's like eating a cake or something. You know, it's like real sloppy. You pick it up, the slice falls, all that. You know, it's just. And New York style is just thin, crispy, and you know that's 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 the pizza I've been making my whole life. So, which one is better, Chicago or New York? New York, come on. <laughs> New York. <laughs> <laughs> I think more like preference, right? It's, it's all about preference. yeah, it's preference. preference. So, in my dad's place, we did make Chicago pizza there. We had a we had a pan pizza that we would put the crust in, make it. And I had a guy come in one time from Chicago. He goes, "I'm from Chicago." He goes, "I'm gonna try your Chicago pizza." He he ate it, and he goes, "You said your pizza, your Chicago pizza is better than in Chicago." <laughs> so that's nice. Yeah. That's good. yeah, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Any experience you had uh, here in Naples that you enjoyed? Uh, Uh, so Naples, I like Naples because I have a couple friends that lives here that live in Naples. So I sh they showed me the area, everything, and the they were like, Mike, you should open up down here. There's not that much. I mean, there's a lot of pizzerias, but he's like, there's not a lot of good pizzerias. He goes, so you'll do well. Um, you know, but um, yeah, I, I like Naples. I like I like the town. It's clean. It's like the Beverly Hills of Florida, you know, <laughs> but it's, it's good. The people are nice. It's clean. So, I mean... I enjoy it. I, I really enjoy it. Out of all Florida, I'm glad to be in Naples. So yeah, we're the same. We came from Naples in 2004, and we stay here. Like we like it because it was a small, clean. People are friendly. And yeah, very, yeah, I like it a very lot. Very calm. Yeah. That's yeah, what I enjoy. Very, calm, very nice. And calm. they're nice. They want to see you succeed because yeah. a lot of the people here they have their own businesses, so they understand. Like when I'm short staff or something, they're like, no, no, don't worry. We understand. You know, take your time. This and that. Back in New Jersey, they'll tell you off. <laughs> you know <laughs> so they're, 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 they're i don't care no excuses yeah no excuses they don't want to hear none but, make me the picture but the people down here they're nicer yeah they're nice nicer, people yeah yeah, yeah naples is nice yeah naples is nice and uh, and there's a lot of people that are coming moving in moving oh yeah there's in. a yeah, lot more people yeah, yeah which especially is good. they're now we rated number one in the whole state yeah. so that was yeah. interesting wow you that's know. great the that's whole, nice whole country yeah so number the whole one. yeah number number one the whole states the whole country <clears throat> well yeah. i heard uh everybody used to go to like uh palm beach they used to go on the other side but now everybody's moving i hear more on this side because it's not as busy and it's nicer so we're getting a lot more people you know the only thing is the traffic so yeah yes. <laughs> the traffic traffic stays. now is, is okay because we're in summer right but when it hits uh, oh, uh yeah. winter you know we call it winter but uh, when it hits season it's it's a little bit you know tough because yeah, you, it's you, awful. You, you delay more on time uh, you take more time to get somewhere else you sure know? Yeah. you guys come from uh what Immokalee? east naples east, east naples. naples okay so i'm coming from estero during season <sighs> it takes like 40 minutes to get here yeah then if there's an accident on 75 which Ooh, there's an accident it. yeah it takes forever to get here so I'm going to try to move closer this way yeah. eventually, yeah. There was a couple of years that I used to live in Cape Cod and it was like, oh I used to drive goodness. all over here. It was like minimum one hour yeah. just to get here. And with traffic, it used to take me two, sometimes three hours. If it was a crash, forget it. Wow. I would get home at 10 p.m., 9 p.m. That was yeah, that's crazy. insane. Yeah, that's, that, that's insane. Stuff. I only stuff. did it for three years and I was like, this is it. <laughs> yeah. Even though Cape Coral is nice, though, you can find houses cheaper there. Yeah. You know, you get a good deal. Here, you're going to pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean, at least you're closer closer to work. Yeah. Closer, closer you know, that's where you want to be. Yeah. Plus, being in the community you work in, you meet the people around you more. You know, you go to the stores, you see people. It's good to always pop up and have people see you, mm -hmm. you know, because then they're reminded of you. Or if they see me wearing my shirt, they see my logo, you know, whatever. Yeah. You, can, you want to attract people from your community to your business. So, And, and what do you uh, suggest or help out those uh, young folks or uh, people that they're starting their business, uh, making pizza, uh, food industry? Uh, what do you recommend them or what do you suggest to help them out uh, as a beginning process uh, 
why you would tell them to open, open a restaurant? Yeah, they want to open a restaurant. How? So I would say, you know, first work hard because this business you got to work hard. It's not it's nonstop. Some days I don't even eat. So, I mean, don't get discouraged. Um, keep your mind focused on uh, you know your goals and things you want to do, and just uh, you know just pretty much work hard. That's what I did my whole life. Um, you know, working in the back it wasn't easy, but I had a good crew around me. You got to have a good crew around you. But being young, trying to come up nowadays, you just have to be focused, disciplined, and you really just you got to work hard and you just got to have it in your mind like this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to get better at it. Because the more you do it each day, the better you're going to get. You know, so just you just got to hang in there. And there's a lot of people nowadays that don't even want to work. They don't want to do nothing. True. So for this younger generation that's coming up, I say work hard, become great at what you do, have the m mindset and the mentality that you're the best at what you do, and you're going to go far in life. You know, and that's that's pretty much it. That's wow, that's really good. Yeah. We changed your favorite sport. My sport. So it was football, but now football. I mean. I don't know. I think it's all rigged. You know, every time you watch it, the referee's throwing a flag at like the, the, the last those minute, baiting, you know, those like what's baiting. going on? Yeah. It makes you doubt. Once Vegas got involved, yeah, now, those now it's all, like, yeah, oh the betting God. messes it up. So football for me, New York Giants, even though it's been like 15 years, we've been horrible. But so my brother moved down here and he was a Giants fan. Now he's a Miami, he's a Dolphins fan. So my dad moves down here. My dad sees my brother wearing a Dolphin shirt and he's like, <laughs> he's like, what's going on? He goes, uh, I'm a Dolphins fan now. My dad's like looked at me. My dad's like, "You're changing too?" I said, "No, no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm giant." So uh, yeah, yeah, I stay loyal. <laughs> you know, even if even if we're going through a hard time, you gotta stay loyal to your team. Of course. So yeah, football for me, and then Serie A, Napoli for soccer. So I grew up watching that. My dad, my mom, and dad are from Naples, Italy, and uh, yeah, Serie A. So we, we, we wow. So coming to Naples is like yeah, like yeah, sentimental because you're from. Your parents from Naples, Italy. Yeah, and then I moved to and Naples, Naples, Florida. Florida. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. That's cool, yeah. yeah. And for you guys, what's your favorite uh, sport? Baseball. Baseball? baseball? Yeah. No way. Baseball? The number one baseball. Yeah, yeah really? Baseball, yeah. But we, I like every sport. I like competition a lot. Like, I watch football, soccer, you name it. But my favorite sport is baseball. Baseball, yeah. See, baseball, I watch more towards... Well, I've been watching it more lately because at the restaurant, I'll just turn it on and watch the Yankees. But um, I usually watch like hockey, baseball, and basketball playoffs. You know, that's when it gets more exciting for yeah, me. Yeah, because it's too long on the season. Yeah, it's too long. But football, I watch every week, you know, because it's exciting. Yeah. It's fast. It's fast. Soccer, I love soccer. I love, I love all sports like you guys. But baseball yeah. is like maybe, I think third. First is like football, soccer, and then baseball. Do you play any sport growing up? or? Yeah, so I played uh, outdoor soccer and I played indoor soccer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, nice. No eh. football? No, no football. No. <laughs> Italian, Italian people, we don't really play football. <laughs> <laughs> or basketball. We're too short, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what and about you kitchen. guys? And the kitchen, yes. They're good on kitchen. Oh, in kitchen, yeah. 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 Food, yeah. Cooking. yeah. Italian food is really good. Yeah, it is. It's really good. And you guys, would you guys grow up playing what sport? Uh, baseball. 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 baseball? Yeah, yeah, little yeah. league, high school. Uh, Peter went a little bit higher. So Independent league. league, a little bit. Uh, um, but that was it. Really? Wow. Now, yeah. now it's on the league. Now it's on the <laughs> league. So just to stretch out, you know, the muscle. And, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we retry every year. We say, oh, we're not playing baseball no more. It's too hard outside. They called my dad last night. Oh, we should make a team. And my dad is like, oh, let me ask my kid. Let me see my son if he don't want to play. I say, well, if you're in, you're in. <laughs> yeah. They call him to coach the team. I say, let's do it. Cool. So your dad plays with you guys too? Yeah, he coaches. Coach. Oh, he coaches. Coach. Oh, that's who, good. Yeah, he's the one that scream and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, that's yeah. cool you guys still do that. It's like, you know, it's close. Being a family, you know, yeah. it's, it reminds uh, you of being young. At yeah. least we're guaranteed to play the game. Right, exactly. You know, our dad is yeah, the coach. Yeah, dad is coach. the coach. Yeah, yeah. yeah you um, could... <laughs> we hit him first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the lineup. Yeah. That's funny. I yeah, didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. So you guys have a big team or... Right now we're building it. Okay. Right, yeah, yeah, right we're now. Building. I mean, we were in the Krakens uh, uh, for like two years, and you know, I don't know if they're going to do another Kraken. Right, but, but they kind of like split up, so we are not playing no more. And now that this guy, he got like nine people already ready to play for my dad, and I guess I said, "Oh, go ahead." Yeah, <laughs> okay, jump in. Now, you where mean? do you guys usually play? I can play any position in baseball, but most of it I like outfield. That's outfield, my yeah, outfield. that's what I did when that's I was younger. Outfield, outfield. prime, you were outfield little league infield and outfield in high school. Yeah, and I liked it. 
Yeah, like it. yeah. Especially when people I like to, to run. I used yeah, to catch yeah. too, and I used to like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baseball yeah. is fun. Sport, in, sport in general is fun because keep it, you your know, busy. Yeah, it keeps is. you your brain. Uh, you know, blood sure uh, flowing, flowing. Yeah. So it helps you think. Uh, if you you know you stress, you go play. You at least you exercise. So you you everything, your muscle, your brain, sure. everything is just the stress just go release. Yeah. So sport in general is really good. Yeah, Very. it's good because we stand all day. We work, mm -hmm. stand. Yeah. so we don't get to play around. You don't really like. I find myself. I used to go to the gym a lot, but lately, you know, I'm working six days a week. So my day off, I'm like, I'm exhausted. But if I did a sport, I feel like that would help me be more active. You know, it's good for the body, like you said. You know, so you That's always true. want to keep your blood flowing and eating a lot of Italian food. You know, and yes. put some pounds on. <laughs> so. Eat some pizza. <laughs> do you eat a lot of pizza? I do. Oh, you do every wow. day. Every day, I never get tired of it. You know, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, nice. nice. Have you guys tried the cheesesteak pizza? Cheesesteak? No. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah. We always tried the Hawaiian and the, the Hawaiian. The yeah. We stay like simple. <laughs> okay, one day I'm gonna make you the cheesesteak pizza. I'm gonna bring it over. Let you guys try. You'll like oh, it. Nice, it's nice. Really good. Definitely, we're looking forward for that. <laughs> you guys like lettuce, tomato, onions? Uh, do you like lettuce? I like everything, but no pickles. That's no, okay. no, no, I don't no like pickles. pickles. But lettuce, tomato, onions. Yeah, you'll that's eat, totally right? fine. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna make you a pizza. It's gonna be like a cheesesteak sub. Which is lettuce, tomato, onions on top, and we put uh, some kind of like seasoning on it. I don't want to give out my recipes, you know. So. Yeah, but it, it <laughs> tastes good. Like, <laughs> it's so <laughs> good. People, people try it. People are like, "Wow, this is amazing." It's good so, stuff. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So I'm bringing a lot of different things to Florida, and I'm happy about it because, you know, you got to be unique in what you do. That's true. You know, because if if you go somewhere and everything's the same. You know, you're not really going to go back. You know, it's going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, I can go get same. the same thing somewhere. But if you're unique. And you're, you know, I'm proud about what I do. Like, I'm happy. I'm very motivated and passionate about what I give people. And, you know, people can taste it in the food. Yeah. So. And they review. You, re you got good reviews. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, good I reviews. have a couple of clients that come in and they're like, wow, that's really good food. I was yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Everybody that asked was like, hey, you got to try it out. Even yeah. the detective? Yeah, yeah, he liked it. Yeah, haven't <laughs> 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 yeah, come back yet, too. Yeah. You know, but he's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's man. good stuff. Nice. And uh, for the people, If, if they come here into your restaurant, what are the top three that you would like to recommend them to eat and try it out? So it's kind of tough for me. Like even my, my wife, so she works with me. She helps me. When people always ask her, like, what do you recommend? Because everything's so good. Like everything's done right. But I recommend the seafood dinners, uh, chicken dinners, and the sandwiches. So that's three right there. But then the pizzas as well. And I mean, it's the, have you guys tried the black and chicken uh, that I make? No, no okay it's a cajun chicken that oh, i make cajun chicken it's so good it's mm. a sandwich i put lettuce tomato onions on it and then i put honey mustard because the black and chicken spicy a little bit so, so you honey. put the honey mustard and it's like a little bit sweet and we make the honey mustard ourselves so it is, it's Fresh. phenomenal. It's, yeah, it's the Man. flavor's good. I'm getting hungry I, now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> no, you're going to try I, I will definitely try that next yeah, time. Try I will that. try that. No, you know what? Time. I want... Maybe, I, I'm going to try it tonight. The, the, the seafood. Chicken. No, oh, the, the seafood. seafood. Oh, oh, yeah. Peter is hooked with yeah. the seafood. Yeah, yeah. hooked with the seafood. He got me the... <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. It's all fresh. Everything's made to order, too. So... You're gonna you like me, it. You got me in that Zifu. I was yeah. still like thinking about it. I was like, man. <laughs> man. That's my favorite dish. When I make it, I'm like, oh, man. And then last time I made it, this lady was taking a picture of it and she like gave me a round of applause afterwards. Oh, it's wow. It's got like a standing ovation by one person. It was oh, awesome. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's so, good. where are you located? Where is it? How can people find, find you? you? So, we're located at the near the Outback on the same side on 41, right by the barbershop. Yeah, next to the barbershop. Next to the yeah. barbershop and and yeah. how people can find your social media. Yeah. Insta Instagram, and they can find me through Facebook. I started doing TikTok, but I only, I got so much time, you know, I only have so much time, so. Uh, yeah, you're pretty busy. You know, pretty busy. But I would like to eventually do a little bit more on TikTok, uh, but they can find me on Facebook and Instagram. In the description, I'm going to put the link. That way you can go, you can click on it. It will go directly to the website, Facebook, Instagram. Perfect. So that way, you know, they can follow up and yeah. try the food it's really yeah, good yeah. it's awesome recommended uh, very delicious yeah so it's not only pizza you got a lot of variety there it's yeah like a lot of a, variety a whole restaurant type yeah of thing, restaurant you know, so. pizza yeah <laughs> we got it going on here at the yeah, plaza that's so. good you guys come check me out yeah. definitely uh you enjoy everything but check uh our friend bruno's excellent food check him out and of course leave the comments below hit the like button subscribe for more and every week we're going to deliver an episode So thank you very much for watching, if you're still watching, and uh, 
Thank you very much, Bruno, for yeah, coming. Thanks so for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, it's and, always a and pleasure. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and bye bye now. Bye bye.